Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. We are here at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas on Las Vegas Boulevard in room 5395, if you're interested. We have the one bedroom king fountain view in the Boulevard Tower. Now, this is the view as you walk in. One of the first features when you walk in is this little light switch here and it gives you the opportunity to set your lighting to hello, which you just saw, relax, and goodbye. And I'm going to see if this will actually show up. But this is the hello lighting. That is relax, and it dims the lights just a little bit, makes it a little bit softer and then goodbye gets pretty dark with still a few lights on for when you get back. So we'll go back to hello. So you come in, you have a nice seating area with the couch, a couple of tables, a chair, a table, some uh, pretty cool artwork on the walls. And this room is actually where we will be watching the Vegas Golden Knights play their hockey games while we're here. And you also have like your ice bucket, a couple of glasses, uh, that coffee we just bought. You have like an iPad to control settings in the room. Also tells you the weather out, outside. It's pretty unique in Vegas today. Uh, raining and cloudy when we first got in at eight o'clock this morning. And then you have your mini bar menu, which I recommend just pretend that doesn't even exist while you're here. You also have a fully stocked mini bar fridge. I also recommend just don't even touch those things. They're on sensors and as soon as you pick one up the clock starts. So uh, just leave them alone unless you want to pay for them. But then also in this cabinet you have a mini fridge that you can put some things in to keep cool if you need to. And then you also have a couple of shelves. If there's anything you want to throw in there, we may use that for some extra storage while we're here. So as you walk around, you have a kind of a dressing bench right here in the middle. Um, probably something you want to be careful of in the middle of the night if you're kind of stumbling around and don't want to trip over that but then you have a couple of full-length mirrors how are you right there and then also on this door which slides to close off the bathroom but then over here you have a couple you have a closet that lights up as soon as you open the door the shelf on top luggage rack some robes which we will absolutely be making use of and then in this door you have a couple of shelves but more importantly you have your safe which we will absolutely be using um, you also have an iron and ironing board there and in those little gray bags you have sets of slippers which we also will be using. And then in here you walk into the bathroom with dual sinks and these lit mirrors and also one of these magnification mirrors if you need one. These, the two drawers on both ends do not open However, the ones in the middle do provide you with a little bit of space. There's your hair dryer if you need it. And there's the other drawer. The bath mat. And then you have a 
separate area for the toilet with an interesting face there to keep you company while you're in there. Just in case you feel like somebody's watching you, they are. You are in Vegas after all. And honey, yeah. what is your opinion about the bathroom mirrors? The bathroom mirrors, I actually like. Normally, I would say I don't like this center um, kind of design because I'm very short, but these are fine. Um, they're also not that far away from you, so you can lean in. If you are shorter than me and you can't lean in, there's this mirror on the side that also can be lit and it has a magnifying angle. And the great thing about this actually is that if you position it just right and you forgot your extra mirror at home, which we usually always carry like a round mirror to catch the back of our hair, you can like prop yourself up on here and look at the back of your hair so you can see if it's all straight. Mine is terrible because it's raining here today and none of the mirrors are very friendly right now because my hair is just a ball of frizz. But I really like that these mirrors are lighted because typically you don't get, you know, a realistic view of yourself in hotel mirrors and I think that these do a really good job of catching the flaws so you can fix them before you leave. Very nice, thank you. And then right here off to the side, you have your tiled shower area. And one thing you'll want to make before we go in there, let me point out something real quick. That little lip right there, that's a pretty significant step. You need to be careful walking into and out of the shower so you don't jam your toe. You do not want feet problems while you're walking here in Vegas. And then you have your shower and a rack for anything else you brought and also your towels. But really one of the best features of this room, we think, is the Japanese soaking tub. And we will absolutely be using this throughout the week. It even has a window that looks out there to the Vegas Strip. I have something to add about this. Yes. Um, so I have not been in the wraparound suites but I looked at the floor plans online and the reason I did not select that for our stay is because I don't think the tub is positioned the way it is in this room. I like that it's overlooking the balcony and you can see the strip from it. I also think there was something weird about the bedroom and the positioning of, I don't know, just everything. I love the way this floor plan is laid out with the bed right next to the room and <laughs> Uh, my biggest piece of advice for you if you're in this room or really any room overlooking the strip I know you think you're only getting a couple of hours of sleep a night and you want to make the most of it but please do yourself a favor do not close your blinds when you're sleeping because when you wake up at two o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom like we always do you'll know what we're talking about if you're our age you can look over right from your bed and see the beautiful lights of the strip. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. It's 24 seven joy from looking out that window or being there, you know, doing it. Don't close your blinds. Enjoy every minute of the strip. And these literally are the only <laughs> hotel rooms on earth where we will sleep with the blinds open because it's the one place we do not mind that light coming in so we have the king bed um which is really comfortable by the way one of the cool other cool features of this room not that we ever read in uh vegas but you have these little reading lights that are built into the headboard that you can position and angle where you need to i always thought those were pretty cool and then you also have down here a place to control the lighting from beside your bed also has like the relax feature, bathroom feature, so you're not searching for lights in the dark. You can just turn them on right there from your bed before you get up. 
There are only, I've counted, two USB plugs on each side of your bed and two outlets. So that's four and four, or well, four total, right? Two USBs, two outlets on each side of the bed. So my recommendation definitely if you have a lot of USB plugs is to always bring the connector that makes it an outlet. Don't just bring the USB plug and think you're going to have enough USB ports here because you won't, especially if you have a lot of camera equipment like we do. I have my stuff already plugged in there and it's completely full. Outside of those eight, four and four, there are 15 other outlets in the room two more, actually four more in the bedroom, four in the bathroom, and then some that really are not gonna be convenient for any good thing unless you're like ironing um, or doing something random in the living room. But yeah, I would definitely, I, I wish that they had more USB plugs, I will say that. I think those could be useful, but luckily for me and luckily for Chris, I am super prepared and I brought like eight of these. So. <laughs> I think yes. we're good. <laughs> we travel with lots of chargers. So you also see you have a very nice size TV here in the bedroom. And also connecting the bedroom, you have this window to the Japanese soaking tub. And it does have a blind. So like if... I did not know that. Look at so that. like if I make Catherine really mad and she wants to get into the tub and like <laughs> shut me out, then she'll be using that blind. Otherwise, we'll keep it open. <laughs> now, welcome. There are great things about the Cosmo. Number one, it's a really cool property. Number two, it's a fantastic location on the strip. This is the best part. It has a balcony. I don't think you can get any better than this 53rd floor. I, I was thinking, what if we had gotten a higher level just to see what it was like? But I really like this location. And here we are with a view that rivals just about anything anywhere, in our opinion. Being up here at night, watching the fountains go off, just sitting back and watching all that activity happen, from your own space, like you're not surrounded by a ton of people trying to go in all kinds of different directions at once. You're just up here enjoying the view. And they also give you a little bit of seating. They give you this chair right here with a little table. And then also this couch over here with a little table. But this is it. Yeah, the mountains are actually kind of hidden a little bit today because of the clouds. It's finally stopped raining. It's beautiful. I love how the shadow is covering most of that mountain over there, and there's just a little bit of sunlight. But you can see what an amazing view this is and why this is such a treasured place to be on the Strip. Now, one other thing I'll point out, on a lot of the room tour and room review videos, it all, to me, it always looks like the railing isn't as wide as it actually is. There's actually a considerable amount of space between the railing and the glass. So I think it's kind of, yeah, so I think it's kind of deceiving on video. If you have any safety concerns, there, there's actually, you, you actually have really some, yeah, you'd have, hard. You'd have to really work to fall off. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. I think we'll leave you here, but I'm sure you'll see more videos from within the room this week. And uh, yeah, we have some unpacking to do and some gambling to do. So let us know in the comments below. If you've stayed here before, what were your thoughts? If you haven't stayed here before and want to get and want to get our opinions on it, you know, something more in depth than what we went into during the tour, let us know. Leave your comment down below. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe. And we will see you back soon with more videos from Las Vegas. Until then, we'll see you on the next episode of the Midlife Ride.
Before we go home, I wanted to check in with you about the room that we have here at the Cosmopolitan. There were a couple things I noticed during the stay that I wanted to share with you. First of all, if you're staying for a long time and you are a serious overpacker like I am, you're gonna not have enough space for your clothing. Now, there were 10 hangers when we arrived two of which had the robes on them. So that was eight hangers that I was able to use. I had to call up and I think I got 20 additional hangers, which was almost enough for my stuff. I, I did fold a bunch of stuff. Um, but as you can see, I mean, there's hanging space here. You can get extra hangers, but there's really not a lot of place to put your clothing. Over here by the safe, there are a couple of shelves, but I mean, it, that's where I put most of my stuff and Chris really just used the top rack and a couple hangers that I let him have <laughs> um, But there's no drawers. There's not like a dresser you have your nightstands by the bed But they're very small drawers um, and I think there's just one drawer in each so not a whole lot of space for your clothes another great thing about staying at the Cosmopolitan is that they provide these nice robes for you and slippers and you will probably fall in love with them like we did the first time we stayed here. You can actually take these home for $125 if you just wanna take the robe. I'm not sure about the slippers. The sign does not say anything about that. So if anyone knows if the slippers are included in the $125 price, let us know in the comments below. still here why are you still here go do something else we we're gonna just get out go we'll see you later